Hey guys, one of the first things you will learn if you get into Magic the Gathering is you should never, and I mean never, sell your reserve list cards if you ever want to play the game because you are not going to get them back. One example of this is Boogie2998. The current buy list on a cradle is $600, and if you have 16 of them, they'll take all 16, gladly show. Uh, even to the point that they probably would pay you more money the more you have because cradles are cradles. Now, what, what are they selling cradles to? Um, they are selling cradles for $1,000, but guess what? There is not a single cradle listed. Let me repeat this again. Guess what? There is not a single cradle listed uh, for sale. So that should tell you Basically, all you really, really need to know about this particular card, it's very rare and in high demand and people want it and people are desperate to get it. So it's a card that I think has a lot of interesting appeal. So Boogie takes the card to the local game store and the local game store owner, you betcha. And this is recent. This is a recent documentary. I don't know when the documentary was filmed, but Buggy is desperate for money and he shows some of the cards. He is thinking that they were 400, 450 at the time, that that's the amount of money he was gonna get. He actually needed a thousand dollars, so he probably was thinking in his head, I'll just sell two cradles for 500 a pop to my local game store and that will get me a thousand dollars in rent. So that was in his, you can watch the interview, It's got 5 million views. Uh, there's a very interesting start. So he goes to the local magic store, needs money, and this is something that you will, you should never ever do. And then you can see how, you know, you can see the two different chairs, right? The local magic store owner has a chair that he's sitting upright, and then the chair that he provides his customer is a chair that looks very, very damaged, or it looks like it doesn't have the backing. You can see that the local a uh, card shop owner is looking, you know, is staring down at Boogie as if he was a piece of shit, a trash, and he is. And you can see Boogie. Boogie's with his face. He's 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 very pained. Uh, Glenn is just going to rock, just blank Boogie in the butt right now. And he did. I I I swear, at no point in time did two cradles cost four hundred dollars together together. $200 each is for a cradle. I have never seen that price. I would snap buy it. Now you might make the argument, hey, Glenn Wood owns a game store. Glenn is someone who is, you know, he's got to make his part. And I've owned a game store before, right? But also you have to understand that you need, um, you need to be aware if you're Glenn that this video is going to get 5 million plus views or at least a few hundred thousand views at the time and you need to not rip off boogie here <laughs> but look look at glenn look at how they're shaking look at the elevation you know glenn is probably a smaller guy than boogie but look at the elevation because his seat is higher you can see like boogie's seat is lower so four hundred dollars was for two cradles garish cradles this is you know i mean if you have to sell to a game store you're effed you are you are severely and massively in trouble. Um, you are desperate because you know exactly what the game store is going to do to you. You know exactly what the game store is going to. Uh, you're in trouble. You are in a lot of trouble if you have to go to your game store and sell because the margins they're going to give you are basically non-existent. Um, yeah, so it's uh, 200. So it's not, he, he wants to sell CDO traders, but low ball offer and city of traders is even lower it was something ridiculous right so at the end of the day uh he has to sell his two kratos to the local game store and then he spends then right after he spends the money on said local game store and then continues to play magic this is him playing magic after spending the money that he sold the two kratos for so he didn't even use the money to pay mortgage he used the money to play more magic the gathering this is one of the hardest lessons that you will ever have to learn about magic is you're never going to get these cradles back. Not for 200, not for 600. It's going to cost you a thousand dollars to get it back from this store. And that's if it already didn't sell. Uh, and that's 
magic reserve list in a nutshell. I, I've never, once you sell the magic reserve list, they don't come back cheaper. They just don't. Like, you know, the, people always say, oh, why don't you sell your cards during the low and then you can pick up all those cards again. A, they're not your, the same cards. The conditions are going to be much worse, right? People are always giving you worse conditions. B, there's a lot of counterfeits. There, you know, I don't want to deal with any of that stuff. The stuff I know is real because I've looked at it many, many times. If I buy a new card, I had to look at it many, many times to just verify for my own OCD that they, they are a real card. So where did the money go? Well, the money went to probably OnlyFans. You know, it's it's a um, I mean, it's a lifestyle. Like you are better off with your cradles than donating to Only. And people go, oh, "That's Only Book." No, I know a lot of you guys out there. Um, you donate to these OnlyFan Magic players, and you think that they love you, or they're gonna give up what? But they're no, a stripper will always be a stripper, right? There's that casino thing where, like, the movie. And it's like, you can't really change someone who doesn't want to be changed. Um, they like this type of thing. They, they like it. And, and this is uh, who they are, right? And the bottom line, and I think the main takeaway I have from this is quite quite interesting i would say that boogie is a incarnation of everything that is wrong with magic players and how they con continuously lose money you never sell your money effing cradles man you sell your standard you, tra you trade your modern you, you you never trade down no one is ever going to trade a cradle into like the current shit that they have like outlaw junction i don't care what card is in the outlaw junction it ain't a cradle no, I don't care what card is in the newest Modern Masters or Modern Horizon 3. It ain't a dual land. It is not a dual land. And what people have to understand is, and, and this is what I'm saying, when you trade away or sell your cradle, you will never get anything close to that in return, even if it's a cash return, right? Like people are desperate. They are very, very desperate. So they're constantly selling and selling and selling. But the reality is, like, you don't need to sell these cradles. Like, these are the last, you don't need the extra $400 to spend on that OnlyFan Magic the Gathering model. Okay? You simply do not need that. Nobody needs that. No one wants that. No one needs it. Uh, actually, I, have to, I think I have to blur out that OnlyFan model. I don't know how that documentary got away with it, but it seems like she's, like, naked in the bottom. So, so I mean, uh, Okay, so I gotta like delete that. So, but anyway, there's a there's a segment where they ask Boogie, where you, how did you spend all this money, Boogie? And it was on OnlyFans or Tinder or dating, um, you no, know, or a corn addiction. Let's call it a corn addiction with a P. You never sell your mother effing cradles, guys. Your cradles are your cradles, and they should go to the grave for you because you will never get one. Even me, I sold my cradles to a friend of mine. I and I never got them back. Like, I've never got another cradle in. Yeah. And I get tons of amazing cards in almost every week, but never a cradle again because that's the type of stuff people need in their EDH deck.